the bottom that we were just looking at, we've got a screw and a nut. And here we've got nails. This is just another set of things that you would see in a carpenter's toolbox. Uh, not the spearhead, obviously. But these things, every tool proclaims the cross. Um, and I have, to, I have to stand there and say, my work, uh, even if I'm doing something that's good and worshipful, still requires the cross to redeem it. Mm -hmm. um, if that makes sense. The nails are neutral in themselves. They're just, they're tools. Uh, but they've been, they've been, they've been used for something mm. essential. I don't know. Yeah. Essential. Yeah. That's a good word. Yeah. I was going to say glorious. Mm. <laughs> I think that mm. they're right there yes. next to that V, you know, which is, mm -hmm. that's rooted yeah. in like St. Francis's, uh, proclamation, you know, when he received the stigmata and he's like the five wounds of Christ are like the five doors or windows where grace came into the world, you know? So those, mm. those nails and that spear punch those, punch those holes, um, where the grace came through. It's, it's a tricky business. And that's a, that's a mo it's a motif that shows up in quite a bit of your stuff is the five. In fact, mm -hmm. I just, I have a, a cup that, I've got a series of cups that Jack made for me, but I'll put it up to the camera. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. There's a five. There's the mm -hmm. pretty much on everything that he makes. He's, he's carved that here's grace coming through. If the five wounds of Christ are that window and the grace comes into our world, 